Lesson number one is to create distance from your mind. Let me share with you a little story. There was a young man who was losing his temper on every little disappointment that he was facing. The father noticed it and he decided to show him a better way to deal with it and he asked him to hammer a nail on the wall each time he was angry. The boy in the initial days had a many number of nails on the wall and after a few days he felt it was easier to stay calm than to get angry and hammer a nail. When the father saw there was no nail getting added, he asked the boy to pull them out. When he pulled out all the nails, the father showed him that the wall had been damaged even after removing the nail. The same way when we hurt others, how hard we try to fix it up, the pain is always there. So instead of reacting first and feeling sorry later, it is a better practice to create a distance from your mind and act with clarity. Lesson number two is to develop the skill of meta thinking. Meta thinking is a significant thinking skill where we think about thinking. This is where we monitor ourselves the way we think and react to various situations. You either control your mind or it controls you, says a famous quote. This step starts with the realization that we are not defined by the inner self-talk or the data that is stored in our brains. Then we are no more controlled by it and begin to act with freedom. Like say for example, you want to do an activity that is challenging for you. Then you write down your strengths, weaknesses and pinpoint which part of it is actually hard for you and what actions you would take to sort it out. Lesson number three is the five times why method. This is a remarkable way to hack your mind and help you to find out the exact cause of your unhappiness. This works out by asking why five times. The main goal is to find out the origin and working from there to prevent it from recurring. It helps to define, measure, analyze, improve and control the problem. Let's take an example. Mr. X is feeling worried that he is overweight. First, why is he above the recommended weight? He is not finding time to go to the gym. Why is he not finding time to go to the gym? Because he comes back late from his office. Why is he late from his office? Because he goes to eat junk food after work. Why does he go to eat junk food? Because he finds pleasure while eating it. Why is he feeling pleasure from eating junk food? Because his friends are doing the same. So Mr. X is actually trying to find pleasure and the way he's finding out is exactly happening against his wish to lose weight. Now after pinpointing this, he needs to find out is there any other way to find pleasure that can help his weight loss.